Let's bring in our racing analyst, Tim Haraney. So two days ago, Tim, Toronto was hit with that huge rainfall that left Lakeshore Boulevard underwater. What are organizers telling you about what effect, if any, that's had on the track? I think one of the things, Glenn, is the fact that how quickly it, it drained. It drained in about two hours, surprisingly, rescinded back into Lake Ontario. And as I am down here right now, one of the things that I notice the most are the little rubber patches that are used to seal the cracks within the pavement. A lot of them have actually popped out, but I, I don't see that affecting any of the race cars as they blast down Lakeshore. And that'll be the other thing. There's a lot of debris on the side of the track. It's very dirty. But as the cars get out tomorrow morning and start cleaning things up, I honestly don't think they'll have any issues going down Lakeshore at all for this race this weekend. Yeah, now when we talk about the race, one of the growing rivalries in IndyCar right now is brewing at the top of the standings between Alex Polo and Pato Award. Why does this particular rivalry fascinate you, Tim? I think with Alex Polo, you know, just being that defending champion, extremely talented, you know, almost trying to be the face of the series. And then you've got Pato Award, who obviously is in championship contention at the moment, just trying to force his way to be the face of the sport. And I think also on top of that, it's how Pelo may have uh, just upset McLaren a little bit by not actually going to the team last season. And I think that's become a big rivalry between these two teams in particular. I mean, Mid-Ohio really stands out to me and that being a, a statement win for Pato Award over Alex Pillow. And so as these two continue to battle each other, I see this as a pretty big budding rivalry as they continue with their IndyCar careers. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on that this weekend. Another name to watch, always Scott Dixon. He comes into this race fourth in the IndyCar standings, but he's won two of the last four races in Canada.